Welcome and thank you for joining us for this edition of Coach's Corner. My name is George Webb and I'm assistant coach here for the Dover Sherman Raiders and I'm here with Steve Ryan who's head coach for the Dover Sherman Raiders football team. Hey Steve, not much drama in this one. We are 2-0. and How does it feel? Oh, it always feels great to come out on the right side. Now, it's, at Dipmunk, they, they were a good team. They, they had uh, their first game of the season. They had a big win over St. Paul's. So uh, they always play us tough, tough kids, well coached. Uh, but we got off to a pretty quick start on this one. Yeah, you know, uh, the score, you know, we won 33 nothing, and, you know, it was mostly a JVs in the second half. Uh, but they were still a tough team. It's just I think we came out, we were very aggressive, and, you know, we did all the right things. And we mixed it up between the run and the pass and uh, some things we needed to clean up along the way. But overall, we, uh, we seemed to move the ball pretty good on these guys. Yeah, I'm happy the way the offense clicked. Um, you know, but in, in my opinion, it's the defense that really gets us moving. Yeah, I'd say that quite a bit. Defense is the thing that wins the games for us. And uh, RD, I think this is two shutouts in a row, right? Or pretty near. Yeah, well, uh, seven quarters in a row of, of no scoring. Um, Ashland scored seven points against us in the first game in the first quarter, but nothing since then. So it feels good to be 2-0, and we thank uh, Nip Monk for, uh, for a well-played game and wish them luck with the rest of their season. We're going to pivot pretty quick, though, and talk about Sharon coming to town uh, for a home game on Friday night. Yeah, Sharon's a lot tougher than they've been the last few years. They're 2-0 and coming into this game, so a really good matchup against two undefeated teams. Um, you know, they, they're pretty good balance. They can throw the ball. They have a very good running back who, who seems to have great vision uh, and some very big linemen. And so we saw them a little bit at passing camp this summer, and so we got to get to know a little bit of their guys and really, really good skill positions, uh, particularly in the passing game. Um, so this was supposed to be a game away, but we're actually – their field's not completed. So we're having uh, – we get we get the benefit of another home game. Uh, so that will be 6.30 here on Friday night under the lights. So we're looking forward to that one. Um, any thoughts for the team as we prepare this week in practice and anything we should be looking for in terms of sharing schemes and – things we're, we're getting ready well my big message to the team is this isn't the old Sharon team you know that the, uh, these guys are good they, they're they know we pumped them last week last year and uh, they're out for revenge so um, you know we need to be ready if we play our best game I, I think you know we can compete if not beat anyone but uh, you know if we're not ready and we don't take it seriously then uh, you know anybody can beat us Steve, before we uh, before we move on, we're going to interview one of our players, uh, Emil Kaby, here in a minute. But uh, I just thought, uh, as we kind of get get ready for this game, any thoughts on uh, key contributors over the first couple of games uh, and guys that are really uh, we had a number of really good seniors graduate, but we've had some guys fill in pretty nicely. Yeah, um, certainly Mackay. You know, on defense, he really stands out. Matt Darren on defense. Uh, you know, those guys are just wrecking balls, and, and we just play so aggressively on D, and, and those guys fit into that scheme perfectly. Um, you know, offensively, Michael Polk, uh, Emilio, uh, Brian Olson, all those guys just uh, doing great things. Henry Moore, uh, it, he's been great, you know, catches every ball and, and making some great blocks. So, so it's really a team thing. We just want to call out Mike Polk again. Mike had a, another terrific game running and uh, has the extra gear. And uh, particularly when we try to chew up the clock, he's been really effective with that too. Yeah, you know, that, that's such an important thing. When you get a lead, uh, you know, you don't want to turn that ball back over. That's the only thing that could that could hurt you. And uh, Michael's able to eat, eat up uh, yardage and eat up the clock. We have, uh, we have a new punter too. I don't know if we want to talk about that, but uh, a bunch of great kicks last week. Yeah, Joey, uh, Joey Perdoni was great. Um, you know, we think that uh, Ronan's back this year, back back this week, and he's playing. But, um, you know, Joe, it was great to have Joey step in and do such a great job. So we've had that across the board with uh, younger guys stepping up and taking over uh, positions across the board. So, Steve, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck on Friday night. And uh, hopefully we have uh, 3-0 next time we get together and talk at Coach's Corner. Thank you. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. 
Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 230,000 participants here in Massachusetts who take part in high school sports. We have a next section on Coach's Corner. We said uh, after the first couple of games of the season, we're going to start interviewing our guys. We have Emilio KB here, and uh, Emilio's a uh, really important contributor uh, for the team on both sides of the ball. Uh, we talked about it before, uh, one of the smartest uh, football players we have on the team and one of the hardest working guys. The thing about you, though, is when you get out in the field, you make it look really effortless. And um, some of the best athletes uh, make it look easy, but we know you put a lot of hard work into it. Um, so it be kind of interesting. Uh, pretty good start to the season. We're 2-0. and We had a great team last year. You contributed quite a bit as a sophomore. Uh, we were Tri-Valley uh, League champion small for the first time of 40 40- three years uh what do you think our chances are this year of coming away with another league title um i think it'll be good uh we got some hard workers you know so, some guys who are returning from last year uh you know our quarterbacks are doing good i think you know it's it's, it's it can happen and um as long as we keep working hard and uh grinding i think we'll be good game at a time right yep cool. so what position uh we got you you're contributing uh significantly on both sides of the ball and uh, you're playing uh, receiver for us and also playing some D-back. So question is, what do you like playing more, uh, O or D? Uh, receiver, I feel like because, you know, I have a little bit more control over the game rather than on defense. You know, you kind of, you know, you're always guessing. It's always a guessing game. But, you know, they're, they're, they're both fun. But, you know, if I took it anywhere, I think I'd, I'd like to go the receiver, receiver route. And uh, your blocking's been really good, too, on the other side of it. So that, that's, a, that's a complimentary part of the game, right? Yep. Yep, yes it is. Um, you know, we, we work stock blocking pretty much every day in the week, and uh, I think that's that's a major reason why, well, not just my blocking, but all of our blocking is good. So you had uh, you had touchdown the first game, two-point conversion, right? So you have pretty good chemistry with the quarterback, right? Yes. Um, some, well, last, last year we would come out before school. You know, we would play a little catch and run a little bit of routes. Um, I think the chemistry started there. And then, you know, us being in the same grade, I think that, that really boosts it also. And your touchdowns, you're a team guy first. Your touchdowns are probably a little higher. Uh, I think some of the other teams could key in on you, and uh, um, that has allowed the, us to spread the ball around in other areas, right? Yep. You know, I mean, we have a lot of guys on our team who are just as good, and, um, you know, once you start keying in on one player, another player will get you. You know, that's what happened uh, this week. You know, they keyed in on me and Henry, and Chris Chris and Brian had a, had a great game. So who's your model? Who do you idolize, and uh, how are you trying to style your game on, uh, in terms of receiver? Uh, receiver, I say, is, you know, Stephon Diggs, Keenan Allen, and, and Odell Beckham. And uh, on D? Uh, defense, probably just Jalen Ramsey, you know, gritty player. He talks a little trash. That's a little, that's a little fun, you know, things like that. You play with a little chip, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Good stuff. So um, after, so you're a junior, right? So you get another full year, and you're thinking about playing in college, right? Yes, yes, I am. Um, Any thoughts on where you like to? Uh, honestly, whatever team, you know, would take me in as a player, you know, treat me as a, as a player rather than just another roster spot and, you know, uh, take care of me, especially in the academic standpoint, things, things like that. So we've had a lot of guys in our program start to matriculate and go and, and play at the college level. Uh, we've had a couple of guys from last year do a year of PG, and then they want to go on, and uh, they already have offers at the college level too. So the success of the program is starting to really get some traction and help all you guys get to the next level, right? Yes, it is. Um, I think that's very important. You know, it started, well, for my freshman year, it started with uh, Nick Rinaldi and then, you know, Johnny, Derek, you know, they're, they're all doing that, taking that path, and um, I think, think we'll be good. So Nick Rinaldi's playing over at uh, Vanderbilt, right? Yep, yes, he is. So what we'll do as we go through the season, we'll start to uh, see if we can get some of these guys back and interview, but we'll also start to list off the college programs that our guys are going to start committing to. We have two really good players, uh, Johnny Bennett and uh, Derek Daly, that uh, are in the process of uh, looking through options right now. And as soon as they know where they're going to go, we'll share that with uh, with the audience. Um, Emilio, any final thoughts? Uh, nope. Uh, I'm just glad to be on the show. On uh, Sharon, any final thoughts? Uh, how are, how's the team prepping? And uh, have you looked at the film? What do you think? Uh, yeah, they're they're a great team. You know, better than they were last year. This is for sure going to be a good game. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different pace for us. You know, more of an air raid team rather than the last two teams that we play where they keep it on the ground. Uh, you know, and you know we've been prepping for that, so we'll be good.
All right, so you know the deal. You get a hat trick and you get more airtime, right? <laughs> All right, so three touchdowns this weekend. All right, thank you for joining us uh, for Coach's Corner this week. Um, Dover Sherburn TV is going to put on the email address over here. So if you have any questions for uh, for us for next week, let us know. And if you want to hear from any of our players in particular order, uh, we're happy to bring them up and put them on the program as well. There's a couple of guys we had in mind that left the field already today, uh, but we'll add more of that in as we go out throughout the season. Again, Sharon, uh, Friday night here, 630, under the lights. Again, 12th man is really important for us and uh, to clash two 2-0 two teams. So hopefully we'll see you there on uh, Friday night. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Coach's Corner. 